Hello, and welcome to the Industry Intelligence Impact Report Deep Dive. I'm your host, Alec Gaylord. Today, we're taking a deep dive into America's Main Street. The topic, retail sales recovery. Now, on July 16th, the Census Bureau released the June retail sales numbers that many economists considered better than expected. Total retail and food service sales in June went up by 7.5% from May and up 1.1% from the same period last year. Now, according to Reuters, economists attributed the second straight monthly increase in retail sales to the government's additional weekly $600 checks for the unemployed. Now, we also know that the economy started opening in May and that by June, there were social gatherings and people were traveling. So is that the primary reason why retail sales have been climbing? In order to answer this question, we need to go deeper than total retail and food service sales. When we look at the Census Bureau retail data by business category, we separate the numbers between two categories, essential and non-essential purchases. Now, if you're unemployed in a severe recession like what we have now, the chance of you spending a $600 check on non-essential purchases is probably minimal. And big ticket expenses also tend to be deferred if there's a lack of money and confidence. So it's safe to assume that retail sales coming from furniture stores and automobile dealers aren't stimulated by the unemployment check. Let's take a look at these two categories. Furniture and home furnishing sales went up by 32.54% from May, but were down slightly by 3.54% from last year. Retail sales for vehicles and parts delivered the big surprise here. This category went up by 8.25% from a month ago, and also up by 7.45% from a year ago. There's also another significance here. If people aren't using cars to get around, they wouldn't need to spend on cars. So the monthly and the annual jumps in this particular category may well indicate that not only are people getting more confident about the economy, but they are also coming out of their houses. Now I'd like to point out yet another purchase category that people spend more on only if they are going out and need to make themselves look more presentable. Clothing. In June, retail sales for clothing and accessories went up by 105.12% from May, but were down 23.22% from a year ago. So, perhaps people are coming out more, but not quite like last year before the COVID-19 pandemic. So if people are staying home, what are the indicators of that? Well, if you buy more groceries, you're likely eating at home more. If you're working from home every day, you're likely using the computer more, so online, quote-unquote, non-store sales would go up. If you can't go to the gym, the theater, the park, you're forced to entertain yourself at home, so retail sales related to home improvement and gardening, setting up a home gym, grooming a hobby, reading, will also likely go up. So let's take a look at how these categories are doing. Grocery stores, non-store retail, building materials, and garden supplies all posted small declines from May, but strong gains from a year ago. Groceries were down 1.55% from May, but up 11.55% from last year. Non-store online sales were down 2.41% from May, but up 23.54% from last year. Building and gardening supplies were down 3.4% from May, but up 17.26% from last year. Sporting goods, hobby, music, and bookstores is the only category among these at-home indicators that posted both a monthly gain at 26.52% and a yearly gain at 20.63%. So, consumers are still staying home a lot, but we can see that the reopened economy has enticed them to come out to start having some fun. How long will that momentum last is the question. In late June and July, public health statistics show that COVID-19 infections trended way up. Now, health officials attribute that to social gatherings without following safety guidelines. So not only might the fun be ending abruptly yet again, but also the additional unemployment benefit will end on July 31st. Because of all this, economists are predicting unfavorable July and August retail sales statistics. Even though we're sensing a headwind, it's also encouraging to know that, based on the June statistics, 
the retail bounce back was pretty quick after a severe lockdown. That's it for today. I'm Alec Gaylord from Industry Intelligence, where we help you better understand your industry's challenges. I invite you to visit our website at www.industryintel.com. Check out our blog and our podcast in order to arm yourself with the latest market intelligence. Please contact us and have a great day.